The Geotechnical Centre at Queen's University in Kingston, Ontario is a unique facility that allows researchers to test the effects of heavy loads on a wide range of infrastructure components, from medium-span highway bridges to water and gas distribution pipes and gravity flow sewers. The facility is equipped with a large pit, 8 meters wide by 16 meters long, that's used to bury structures such as metal culverts. These structures are then subjected to the weight of large vehicles or hydraulic jacks. What we're actually able to do in this facility is take structures up to forces when they can't take any more. Something that we would call their ultimate limit state. Or when do they break? And by taking structures up to such high loads, we're able to better understand how they respond so that we're able to better efficiently design these structures, obtain new products, new applications, and greater cost effectiveness. Armtech's deep corrugated steel box culvert is one such product. The bridge manufacturing company based in Guelph, Ontario, recently collaborated with the Queen's University team to test the level of resistance of its culverts. As it turns out, this technology can sustain more weight than anticipated, including highway loads. The direct result now is we can better design cost-effective options for bridge replacement. This now introduces a whole new product to replace medium-span aged bridges, perhaps at a lower total cost and most certainly at a more reduced time frame. The research team is also looking at ways to salvage metal culverts that have rusted through over time without having to dig them out of the ground or replace them. Although cutting costs is an important objective, it is not the only concern. Environmental safety is a priority that Queen's University researchers take seriously. If we have sewers that are leaky, that are allowing either fluid to come into the pipes or perhaps contaminated fluid going from the pipe into the surrounding environment, both of those are environmental problems where we need to repair our infrastructure.